Hey everybody, Quilting Marine here. So we're back with the Pimped Out Pinwheel or the Disappearing Pinwheel. Pimped Out Pinwheel. Alright, so we made our blocks. <clears throat> Alright, so I've had to make I had to make 30, 30 blocks to make a king size for a king size bed. Okay? I went with 30. 30 that are at uh, 17 inches square. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna square them off. Um, I'm not, I'm not an ace at this, okay? So, my squares don't come out perfect every time. Uh, most of the time, they don't come out perfect at all. But, I love them, so they're mine, alright? So, this is what I, well, I don't stress on it. Don't stress on it, don't wrap yourself around a wheel, alright? So, I was watching my girl, T Quilts, and... She got me motivated to come on in here and do some cutting and getting getting some quilting done, okay? So, look, here's the pimped out pinwheel, all right? So, I have a 17-inch block, so what I've been doing is I've been, you know, putting it on the 7 line here. All right, so, I, what I, all right, so I, I'm going to explain this like I'm explaining it to recruits, okay? Right here. I'm going in the corner right here, all right? I'm trying to get as square as I can in that corner, all right? I don't, I'm not a measurements guy, so don't send me, yeah, that's 19 by 17 eighths and 16 squares. I don't want to hear that. This is how I do it, all right? So I'll put it in the seven corner there, and I'll count my 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, all right? Now, for on that seven line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go, I'm going to square off my block. All right. So on a seven yard line or a seven inch line here, I'm going to square my block off. All right. Now, if I get it, if, if it's on the line, it's on the line. If it's not on the line, it's not on the line. I'm not going to let it warp me out. I'm not going to freak out about it. All right. That's it. And we're just going to cut that. Okay. That's all we're going to do. It's not rocket science, all right? All those quilt snobs try to make it that, all right? It's not, okay? Now, this is what I do. The, the, this is the part that you got to pay attention to. I turn it, all right? I turn it one to the left, all right? Because I want that clean edge on top, all right? I'm going to put it back in the corner there, all right? See what I did? I put the clean cut edge on top. So that I know this line is straight. I already, I just cut this, so I know it's straight. All right? Then we come right back to the seven. Again, seven inch line, seven inch line. All right? And for those of you who are wondering, yes, this is my on the grip. All right? And I, I love this thing. It's my eight and a half by 24 inch ruler. I use this more than any other ruler. Although I'm going to go get one of those, um, uh, was it a three by, was it three by something that, uh, t Quilts had it on, had it on yesterday. And I, I think I could work with that a little bit better too. It's like three inches wide and maybe 24, I think something like that. It'd probably be easier to handle. All right. So we got another cut. I'm going to turn it again, put it in the corner. Cause you know, you got a straight edge, right? You already, you already cut. Now you got two straight edges that you just cut. All right. So if you're off. You're off. No worries, okay? Don't freak out, all right? Although I'm sure somebody would be like, you know, that's not right. Get rid of it. No. Okay, we're quilting for ourselves, our family, our loved ones, all right? Do you, all right? Like my wife would tell me, do you, boo-boo, okay? I'm not going to say that, all right? That's what she says to me, all right? Look at that. And one more cut here. I'm going to put it in the corner of the seven. You know it's reaching down to the 24. That's 17 inches. Okay. Now it's done all my cuts. So now I know I can square from this corner now. All right. Look at that. Seven. Seven from the bottom. Seven to the top. I'm just going to cut. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Look. So I've been getting... I've been getting requests for people to tell me that, uh, you know, start, please cut away from yourself. Yeah, I know that. I know to cut away from myself. But, look, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to cut in weird angles. There's just moments when you have fabric or blocks or something you got to cut. And cutting away just ain't going to get it. 
Now, if I had one of those, um, what are those, uh, Lazy Susan thing, you know, that thing, to spin it around, it, it would probably make it a lot easier. Yes, I admit that. But I don't have one because I like to spend my money on thread and fabrico, okay? Same thing, second block. All right, so look at this. Look at this block. That's short. You can see that's short. But I'm not about to jump out the window over it. It is what it is, okay? Remember, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting a border on this, okay? So once I do my quarter inch stitch, all right, look at that. When I do a quarter inch stitch, if I did a quarter inch stitch over here, all right, it's kind of close to the edge. We'll work it out. All right, don't freak out on it. All right. Square this elf here. So yeah, I'm gonna need to get some more rulers, I think. Because I was watching T-Quilts yesterday when she went live. And she had an army of rulers. And I'm like, oh my god, I need to up my ruler game. She was just pulling out bag, bags of rulers. And I was like, what? Alright, so I need to go ruler shopping. I need to get me some more rulers. But I'm the Grip is my, that's my company. I'm like a butcher shop dog, you know. Treat me right. I'll, I'll be right there by your side every time. I'm loyal like that. Okay. Cutting these things down. So what we did was yesterday, we the wife and I, we went to um we went to Hobby Lobby to pick out the border that we're gonna use. Don't mind them, that's the dogs. They're they're doing what our dogs do. They always love they always seem to have the best timing when it comes to making a video. Gunner. So yeah, we went to Hobby Lobby and we picked out her border. <laughs> Which is in orange. I'm laughing because because of them. Okay. And that I'm gonna pull the border out here shortly here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be putting a two inch border around every block. Alright. There we go. There we go. We're squared off. Alright, so we're ready for putting borders on. So we went to the Hobby Lobby and this is the fabric she picked out. I think it's pretty nice, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting two inch strips, all right? But you don't, when you get fabric, you don't just go into cutting it, all right? You have to prep your fabric. So a good habit to probably get into when you're buying fabric like this by the yardage is throw it in the wash, you know, wash it. And then this fold right here, all right? This fold is not a true fold. Look at this, all right? Don't assume because you have your fabric lined up, it's straight, all right? However subtle the pattern is, there's a straight and there's a, and it's not straight, all right? So what you wanna do is, all right, this is kind of a big, a big piece of material, but what you wanna do is, you wanna get your salvages, all right? The salvages are this edge, that's called a salvage, all right? And look, and there's a salvage here too. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that, that's a salvage. Now, the salvage without the white line on it used, sometimes has holes in it, you know? You'll see these little holes. Uh, I don't know what they are. Maybe somebody could tell me, but, and I'm sure somebody will. All right, but you want to line up your salvages, okay? Once you've prepared your, your fabric. Now, look, once you lined up your fabric, your, your salvages, look what happens on the other end when you stretch it out. Look what happens. See this edge? That's not the true edge. Now that I've stretched it out, look at that. See how that edge has changed? The edge has changed, right? Because it's not the true edge. You need to make sure you get to the true edge so that you can have true straight cuts, okay? We want to cut true. We want to cut straight. And you're not going to do that off the fold that they do, that they give you uh, when it comes off the bolt, all right? You want to prepare your fabric when it comes off the bolt. Throw it in a wash, get the salvages together, all right? Now, I wouldn't try to get the salvages together on a piece like this, because this is pretty large. So, because I'm gonna be cutting two inch um, borders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the most out of my cuts, but I'm gonna get this true, all right, first. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fan fold it, all right? Fan folding is, is when you fold it lengthwise and then you fold it again, all right? And that's what I'm going to do to get good.
good, long, nice cuts, all right? But that's what we're going to do. This is the the fabric, okay? I just wanted to cover that real quick. When I when I go into cutting my two inches, my two inch strips in my border for this, all right, I want to show it, show you, show you what it looks like, what it's going to look like. Okay, so what we did yesterday was we took, you know, don't be shy about, you know, finding what you want for your quilt. Sometimes you're just going to have to carry a block with you. So what I did was I took a couple of pieces of my block to the Hobby Lobby, all right? And we laid it out on the table, on the cutting table that they cut our fabric. And we, we laid fabrics in between to take a look at what we wanted or, or what she wanted, actually, for the quilt. And that looks good, right? That really, I think that looks good. So this would be the block, really. How it would kind of look, if you can imagine that. All right, so we're gonna be going. We're gonna be going five blocks across, at 17 inches, with a two inch, with a two inch border on every block. All right, and then we're gonna finish it with probably a four inch border, and then a bind. Our bind is gonna be this slate gray that we had. We picked up already. This will be the bind here. So this gray right here, we'll we'll bind with. Let me fold it so you can see it. This will, this will be the bind. Okay? So, this is the pattern we're going for. So, if you're keeping up, try to keep up. But if not, I'll wait for you. It's no problem, all right? We don't want to lose quilters, all right? We want to bring quilters into the, into the craft, all right? And I'll never leave you behind because I remember what it was like trying to watch videos and understand what people were talking about while I was teaching myself how to do it, okay? I've got you. If you have any questions, hey, just message me, okay? Um, so that's gonna be it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go forward. Um, what I'll do is the next video, we'll, we'll cut some strips. We'll show off what we're, we're doing when it comes to cutting good strips, all right? But we kind of want to move into getting a die cutter. I'm hoping to get a die cutter. You should see the face behind the camera. All right, so look, we're going to cut, and then we'll, we'll start patching this thing together. Once this quilt top gets done, we're going to do the daisy cutter, all right? So we got to talk about the daisy cutter pattern because there's been some, some um, discussion about what we're going to do for the daisy cutter pattern, all right? And then we'll go on to another quilt that I mentioned on a live, but I won't mention it again until we start at least the daisy cutter, all right? But it has something to do with these <laughs> and guys, all right? So... Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.